Marina Spirit, please show me the clarity of the collective. There's a page for the collective. I feel like somebody's about to be, I don't know why I feel like putting it this way, but somebody's about to be met with a surprise or like an unexpected gift or like <laughs> acquaintance or something like this. I feel like somebody's going to be pleasantly surprised about something. I feel like something is up to you to decide whether you want to claim something or yeah like claim something like if you want to receive something because I feel like something is being offered but it's up to you if you want to say yes or no or accept whatever this is but I feel like this is somebody who's extending their emotions or something For some people, this could be somebody that they had feelings for before, one at a time, please. And um, it's like you thought the feelings weren't mutual. And it could be like that energy coming back around and finding out that something is and was mutual or something like this for some people. For some people, this is something new that, I don't know, just new energy all around that you've never dealt with per se I feel like something is playful or like oh snap I feel like something is playful I feel like somebody's inner child will be intrigued by whatever or whoever this is. What I'm getting is somebody thought something, yeah, somebody thought something was going to get worse or somebody thought, I don't know what you thought was going to get worse or like, I feel like somebody was expecting like, oh, I'm going to have to get played again before I find somebody who's really, I don't know, somebody had something planned in their head that it was just going to go bad for a little while or like, I feel like somebody's been holding on to like past betrayals and just holding it against themselves for some reason, thinking that they have to endure more before they can actually get somewhere or find something real or somebody's like, I haven't done enough work to be able to find an energy that I want or like, it must be me. I need to work on myself some more or something like this. And then like, boom, something happens. I don't know, like that. I'm also getting like on a large scale um that <laughs> this is definitely somebody who betrayed somebody in the past like they betrayed your energy in the past not for everyone but I feel like for a lot of people it is is what I'm getting somebody who didn't know what they had until it was gone or something like that
feel like somebody sees like it's it's like um I don't know. I mean, I did know, but I just forgot what I was going to say, but. I feel like somebody tried not to like somebody. I feel like somebody tried to deny their feelings about somebody. I feel as though somebody feels like they missed their shot or like they missed their opportunity because they were lying to themselves. Because what I'm getting is like something about that time period, something was not supposed to be about feelings or they didn't want to be in their feelings. So they ended up betraying somebody or mm -mm, now they feel like they missed out on an opportunity. Yeah, because I'm getting somebody a sorry for whatever they did or this is what they're going to say. But really, I'm getting not only did somebody miss their opportunity, they, <laughs> they took advantage. They went the extra mile for something like they tried to deny their feelings so much for somebody that they started to like retaliate against them or like started doing, I don't know, like <laughs> they didn't just deny the feelings. They started like expressing hate or something like this towards somebody because they were just that strong in denial. Please show me a Aquarius message for the collective. Nick, Nikki, yeah. Somebody feels as though they made the wrong judgment call or they made the wrong move before, but that they wanna own up or like take accountability it's like they feel like they've already taken accountability within themselves they feel like they've already faced the truth or something like this and now they're ready to express their true feelings to somebody what i'm getting here is that something does not align with your energy something is not Although they may be sincere with their apology or something like this, it's like something just doesn't align with someone's energy or what they're going for or what they're doing with their life. It's almost as if they still resonate with like a past version of somebody. Somebody's already elevated or upgraded or moved on like vibrationally. Okay, they're attached to some old version of somebody, an old version of somebody's energy. But what I'm getting is something doesn't currently align or something currently doesn't match anymore. Yeah, it's just simply not a match anymore or something like this. It doesn't flow like the energies wouldn't flow together even if they were tried to be forced together or something like this. Like even if something was tried again or given a shot or is what I'm getting. It's like it's almost as if I'm getting that somebody has already been through something one time, whether it be with this specific energy or not, you've been through something similar. And it would be a shame to 
put yourself back into a low vibrational situationship or something partnership it could be like romantic or not I feel like either which way it goes, it's not a match. Like, the goals don't match up. The desires of whatever type of lifestyle, like, nothing matches up anymore or something like this. So, either which way it goes, if they try to be like, I don't know. It's like the vibrations don't even match for a friendship or something like this. Whereas before, like, it could have worked out in multiple different ways because of the levels that somebody was on. Y'all was matching. Y'all was on the same. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But now it's like you can't like you can't even be friends with somebody because it's just like the energies don't vibe. Okay, that's what I'm getting. I feel like somebody fought their way out of something or away from certain types of energies, environments, and stuff like this. So not all that just to go back. <laughs> I feel like somebody prayed for this day to come. Somebody prayed for someone else to change. Somebody prayed for someone else's well-being or like, I don't know. Somebody just prayed for somebody else and really had hoped that they would come to get their shit together or something like this and change their ways. I feel like that's what's happening here. Whether it's um, genuine or not, whether they're actually putting in the work or not, I don't really know. But I feel like somebody prayed on this and that's exactly what's being brought forward is some type of change. But what I'm getting is something doesn't dismiss whatever the, the past betrayal, something that they did behind somebody's back. Somebody doesn't know everything or something like this. Somebody doesn't know the lengths or the depths that somebody went And that's what's probably going to be the real deal breaker is what I'm getting. Because as it stands, somebody feels, somebody looks at somebody else's energy as innocent or like not involved in something that is like scandalous or that's what I'm getting. Because I don't know, feels like you recently went through something or you were going through something and it was part of a whole like sham or like a sham a scam of some sort that somebody was doing to you or something like this but for some reason i'm getting that you don't associate their energy with whatever that bull whatever shit was um but yeah they were involved in some way or something like this is what i'm getting and that's it's like something that somebody's not aware of or somebody never got proof of or somebody never got clarity on something Okay. They feel like they know they have no chance if they don't come clean because their ties will be exposed to whatever happened anyway, regardless if they choose to proceed with something. But I'm getting like they feel as though their feelings are too great for them to ignore or something like this. I'm getting like they feel like they were lied to about certain things that led them to do certain things or something like this. Like they would hear something about you or hear something, I don't know, something displeasing. And they would be like, oh, OK, I'm going to do this then because this is going to make me feel like I'm getting revenge or I'm one up in them or something like this. But they were given misinformation or something like this. But I'm also getting like it had they taken the time to make decisions and like search for answers on their own without asking for somebody else's advice or guidance that they would have been just fine or they would have not run into um, such issues or something like this. So it really comes down to them not having a mind of their own.
Yeah, I feel like somebody saw that this energy was like vulnerable or just seeking for um, answers or clarity no matter what. And it's like they found the opportunity to throw in some lies about somebody and so they did. That's what I'm getting. <clears throat> Gabby. Yeah, I feel like something is very clear. I feel like it's very clear. Yeah, I don't need no more, okay? Um, something is very clear that something is not the beginning that somebody is awaiting is what I'm getting. Because somebody is waiting for something to come in or something to happen or take place or come together is what I'm getting. Um, this is not it. <clears throat> this is not it. But, um... I feel as though they tried to time this to where it felt like this was the right offer, opportunity, person. I feel like they did whatever it took to... <laughs> To look into someone and find out a lot about them spiritually or something like this. I don't know. What if... Okay, they may have, like, gotten readings or, like, tried to get some type of spell work done on somebody. Or, like, some type of comeback, come, like, obsess something. I don't know. I feel as though somebody's energy could not be touched. Again, because they are fixated on an old version of somebody that no longer exists. I feel like they want to blame some, some, I don't know, for some reason I'm getting like, they want to say that somebody is cold hearted for making the decision that they're going to make. Um, but really somebody is just like, they know what they want and they know that this energy is not capable of providing that to them. Or they can feel that this energy is not capable of providing that to them. Because they have to take something at face value. It's like they want you to take their word or something like this. But you're like, no, I'm going to take it for what it is right now, currently. Not for what you're promising. Not for what you're saying or something like this. Yeah, something's very clear. The decision or the route to take is what I'm getting. Yeah, somebody truly don't feel nothing or they truly don't know what they want, really. They just feel this way because they know that they had an opportunity and they missed it. They now realize that somebody was like telling the truth is what I'm getting. Somebody wasn't, I don't know. Somebody really did care or something like this. I feel like somebody's gonna say something along the lines of wanting another chance because it wasn't their fault because they caught the snake in the grass or like, you know what I'm saying? Like they're not the snake, they caught the snake or something. That somebody was just like filling their head with certain things and they were reacting and doing certain things. So I don't understand, like nobody forced them to take action upon what they were hearing or something like this, so. They don't want somebody to move on. I feel like someone is also destined for something great or something, um, I don't know. 
like I said, they were tapping in and trying to find out all types of shit or something like this. <clears throat> I feel like somebody was destined for some type of wealth or inheritance or like some type of like they were going to create some type of generational wealth or they like this was in their path. This was written in their destiny, per se, or something like this. And um, I feel as though they saw someone approaching that or, or going for that and they did not want to be left behind when they realized they clearly had a chance before. OK, again not this current version they don't have any chances with this current version is what i'm getting they can only offer like i don't know they can only offer you words like they can only offer you the the visions that they daydream of but they never put any action behind something or like that's how it goes or that's how it is gonna go or that's how it usually goes something like that Lawson, <clears throat> Patriots, I feel like somebody feels entitled. They feel like they have some type of entitlement over somebody's energy because <clears throat> there was a connection before or they didn't know, but I don't know. <clears throat> it's like they feel as though you can't move on and love somebody else because you love them first. They just didn't know it. They wish they knew that you wanted them or something like this. <laughs> and now they don't care in which way they come in, but they're trying to come in in any which way because they know they lost out or they feel like they missed out, but they feel as though they're entitled to another chance or they feel as though they're entitled to some type of position in somebody's life. I feel as though they think they need somebody at all costs or like, they feel as though if it's not you, then it's nobody or something like this. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I'm also getting something about like baby mama or baby daddy drama, something like that. I feel like somebody's not worried about it. Somebody doesn't care for real. Like, somebody's not really paying attention to it. <laughs> it doesn't matter because no matter the attempt, it's not going to deter somebody from what they're doing or where they're going. I feel like it doesn't matter what somebody tries to do. Like, doesn't matter what type of spells or some shit that somebody tries to do to somebody or what they say or offer it's just like it's just something is a hard no because it's just simply doesn't it's not what somebody wants anymore it's like at one one point in time yeah somebody wanted this or somebody wanted this connection to thrive or like come together or something like this but somebody's like no <laughs>
Yeah, something is definitely coming together for somebody and it's falling apart for them. It's like they're watching something come into balance for somebody or somebody is getting everything that they deserved or worked so hard for. Somebody knows that you're a good energy, you're a good person or like you're good, I don't know. You're very fair or something like this. Like somebody is very, could be very generous or something like this. Somebody cares a lot or something about justice as well. Like somebody takes something very seriously. It makes them happy to be this way or live this way or something like this. And I feel as though for a long time, this energy looked at somebody like they were doing something all for nothing. But somebody else, that whoever was doing this knew that like, like, this is how it works for me or this is what I enjoy doing because I know what it brings for me and I know how it helps, whatever, I don't know, something like that. I feel as though now they realize that whatever somebody is doing is getting them somewhere, whereas they said it would never do that or something like this. Now they're like, oh, okay, we can build, we can do this, we can do that. No. Mm. I feel as though you created something on your own. You don't need their energy. Like, I feel as though for a while, too, somebody was maybe procrastinating a lot or waiting for somebody to come help them or be along their side for this journey, like, from start to finish. But then somebody was just like, never mind. Never mind. I'll do it by myself. I'm fully capable or something like this. Yeah, I feel as though somebody created this peace, this harmony, this this energetic flow that they have with the universe and they're not willing to let someone disrupt it is what I'm getting. I feel like this is <laughs> I feel like this is going to put like a harsh end to something it, it something is along the lines of gossip or something like this because it's just something's just simply not true. Someone just never cared to prove a point to anyone or something like this. They just simply just continued their life doing whatever they was doing, okay? I feel like somebody cut off all these third-party energies per se like so-called friends, family, whatever, co-workers. It's like anyone who didn't match the vibration that they were trying to rise to, they just kind of dismiss them is what I'm getting. And I feel as though somebody was like, nah, you're crazy, or like, they felt like if they fucked with you, you weren't going to let them have friends or something like that. But something wasn't even like that. It was just like, I'm doing this for myself or something like that. I don't know. Like I said, something that you're waiting for. Like, there's literally... They found out something about somebody's union or, like, somebody's something. And they're trying to time something perfectly to disrupt what's happening or something like this. Like, they're trying to disrupt somebody's, like, hard work and dedication is what I'm getting get them a little distracted or thrown off by something that they once really wanted really bad or something like this. I feel as they they, they want to present themselves to be like an addition, like um um like resourceful or helpful or in any way.
anything to stop this proposal. I don't know. They know a little too much, it seems like. I don't know. Something is just giving, like, they know a little too much about something that you don't even know about and it's yours or it's happening for you or, like, it's a surprise for you, but they know all about it and that's why they're trying to stop it or something like this. I don't know. That's weird. Oh, okay. Well, that's what we're going to do then. I also feel as though somebody has just somebody just more so recently not just but like more so recently found their routine or like found something that works for them or yeah found a way to do something to get what they wanted in the most beneficial way or something like this I don't know It's showing for itself or something like this, and they got to up their game and something that they're trying to do to stop whatever. Okay, I'm moving on. That's just, okay. It's like they want to get somebody wrapped up in something or I don't know why I just got that addicted to something or like tied down to something before they can start something new or before they can receive something that's going to further them along. Cause maybe then you'll stay around to to build something with them or to help them build themselves up in their foundation because you can't build anything before the two separate foundations are solid um yeah they just want to get somebody like all entangled or something before something new can begin i feel like whether they know it or not somebody began like somebody already started embarking on some type of journey but they did it like more so like mentally or something like this they don't see something physical or they don't see physical progress in something or they don't see someone moving physically or something like this but somebody's already been doing a lot or something I don't know something just keeps bringing me back to they don't even know this version of you like they really don't they're still attached to the version that they knew or met back when whatever some I don't know. back when they missed their opportunity um beekeeping one at a time, please. I do feel as though somebody is genuinely going to feel some type of like heartbreak from this, but um, if they be 100% honest with themselves, they'll realize where they went wrong or they'll start to trace back to the roots of where they went wrong. It wasn't just that they missed an opportunity. It was everything that came after that or something like this, like because they could have chose to elevate or work on themselves or do something but they decided to like hate on somebody or yeah they just became a hater started talking shit or started plotting against somebody started throwing magic or doing shit against them 
power of the tongue, something about that. Um, and then afterwards, when they started realizing that they actually love somebody, they don't actually hate them. They just thought that they did or something like this, but they was denying their own feelings and they started doing these comeback spells and love spells and shit. And then now it's just like, all right, now I know some information about what's going to happen for them. So I'm going to try to intervene and make it seem like I am the um, manifestation that they have been waiting for. a nice plan but um unfortunately energy don't lie even though they can their energy will not i mean it's, their energy will present itself for what it is so regardless of what is said I feel as though because somebody is just simply so out of tune or like so at this at this point just they just it's just at this point somebody has a lot more like emotional healing than they even realize that they need to do or something like this like they're way more out of touch with reality than they think they're way less self-aware than they think or would like to say that they are or something like this to the point where they could very much be um emotionally manipulative because they don't even realize that they've been emotionally manipulating themselves this whole time to believe whatever it is that they want to believe and what people's been telling them and shit so yeah, somebody could be very manipulative and not even on purpose or they just not aware of it, but <clears throat> they didn't do all the work that somebody else did. Like it's, I feel as though somebody expects this energy to do better or be better, but at this point they're just not because they didn't put the work in to be is what I'm getting. Yeah, somebody wants you to choose them, like, no matter what, or something like this. You know, I'm getting, somebody refuses to face, like, some type of childhood uh, something. What the fuck? Bro, that's a whole nap. It was just sitting there. Bro, if you leave your windows open, it shit takes forever to get all the fucking mosquitoes and shit back out of here. Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to try to do or say whatever it takes, try to flash whatever it takes to um, get somebody to choose them. Because they know that they are not the better option. Whoever this is that's coming in for somebody, like, mm, they don't have to say much. <laughs> they don't have to say much because their energy speaks for itself. Um, I feel like energetically something is communicated and it's just understood. Or like what's understood does not have to be said. And it's that type of vibe for like this real energy that's coming about. Um, but like they have to do whatever else they can just to try to get you to choose them because they truly cannot offer anything energetically or they that's all they can offer is materialistic things or something like this
<clears throat> I feel like in turn they become angry. Or I feel as though somebody's getting angry because they realize that somebody's not fighting for them or like they thought that somebody was fighting for them or they thought somebody was like gonna fight to be with them. No, no. Somebody's been fighting for themselves this whole time or somebody's been creating something for themselves this whole time and somebody thought that you were putting in the effort to build something with them. Like, no, you were putting in the effort to build your own foundation or like, you know, create your own reality. Yeah, you definitely wasn't worried about somebody else. I feel as though the more they realize that you're not fighting for them or you're not fighting for this connection or like you're actually not becoming obsessed with them, although the spells that they acquired from whoever told them that it was going to make you obsessed and run back and never love anyone else or some shit like this. <clears throat> Yeah, how the tables have turned or something like this. They're going to be like, hmm. I feel like somebody's going to be having a breakdown or something like this because something is in front of others. Like something happens or they get exposed or they get called out in front of people or something like this. Because I feel as though they're getting like bad coverage or like they're getting recognized for something they don't want to be known for. They don't want nobody else to know about. I feel as though they don't really want to admit it, but they're jealous and angry at someone for becoming who they are now or investing in themselves to step into their higher self, like tap into their intuition and things as such. I feel as though they're angry at somebody for putting themselves first and choosing themselves over them or something like this. Whereas before, maybe you displayed something of, I don't know, something was very caring or like you cared a lot about other people enough to like put yourself as a doormat or something like this or let yourself be used if it helped somebody else or something like this. If you really cared or something like that, I don't know. They're angry, they're angry for real that somebody chose themselves or something. They felt like somebody was never going to be happy without them, but even if they were happy without them, it's like they would always come back to them or they would always resort back to looking back at whatever happened between the y'all's two energies or something like this. But it's like, if anything, somebody uses this as like a learning lesson or an example as what they should not do ever again in their lives or something like this. Like somebody is like, yeah, I definitely think about it. And, and that's why I'll be like, no, can't do that again or can't ever look that way again or can't ever like not towards them specifically, but that type of energy. Like, no, nope, they're showing signs and symptoms of being just like that one. I think not. OK, <laughs> yeah. Somebody has standards, somebody has uh, boundaries now, whereas like something was very low, something had, something was held very low. There wasn't much to meet when it came to this energy and what they thought they had to do to be with somebody or get somebody's attention or care and love and affection. Um, but yeah, somebody, somebody's like, yeah, you can't really touch this energy now, but you cannot, you can't reach it or like. I don't know. I don't know what this is from, but I just saw, I just got like um a seal or like, is it a seal or a sea lion? I don't know. But like a round of applause. I don't know why that's like, I don't know why it's like a seal doing a round of applause, but it is. <laughs> I feel like that's from a show or I don't know. 
I'm not going to try to make up where I think it's from because I just don't know. I feel like ultimately they're angry because somebody has the capable, like somebody has, somebody has the power to make a judgment call. Somebody could, mm. it's like, why are they going to do that if this is, that's weird. Okay, I feel as though they're planning to do something drastic in front of an audience to get somebody to say yes or like, you know what I mean? Like, and ultimately it's up to you if you want to be like, I accept this or, or yeah, or whatever. I don't know what they're trying to do, but it seems along the lines of a proposal, but not necessarily don't know how to be on one knee with a ring asking somebody to marry them. Just like, I don't know, they're trying to do something big in front of people and get a response from you. And it's up to you if you want to turn something down and embarrass them or like shut them down for real. Or like, if you want to be like, okay, yeah, and go along with it and then have to deal with the consequences later or turn them down later and deal with, oh, well, then why did you say yes? Or why did you da 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 or something like this? It's really up to somebody if they want to <laughs> cut something off before it even begins. I feel like truly something is sitting somebody down because I'm getting the whatever they did to betray somebody is crazy is what I'm getting. I don't know what they did, but it was really, it was on another level type shit. Okay. <laughs> I feel like something is like the audacity. Like, how dare you? How dare you? think you have a chance enough so to do something in front of these crowd of people absolutely not i feel as though somebody exposes them for the things that they did that nobody else knows about i feel as though you kept quiet about something that happened and you don't even know everything that happened but the things that you do know about you didn't go around outing them or telling everybody something 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 about how something happened in the relationship or friendship situation whatever um but i feel as though that is going to be exposed or something like this because again the audacity you have or something like this no okay it's like somebody could have lost their job if you would have told the real truth or somebody could have lost or would have lost like I don't know, a lot of shit had you been honest or had you told your side of the story when it happened or something like this, like, they would have lost a lot or something. It's all thanks to you that they still have everything or something like that because you never came clean. And so the audacity to do this right here, right now, absolutely not. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting like they feel as though they have so much control over the situation and how it's going to go because they know more or something like this. They feel as though they have more insight on something. Like, because something, I keep getting that something is a surprise to somebody. Somebody doesn't know about something that's going to happen or some manifestation that's coming into fruition or like something is just a surprise or something is supposed to be or something. 
I don't know. And it's like they feel as though they know more. And so they have the upper hand to control how something goes. And they also feel as though if they do it in front of people, that somebody's not going to be cold hearted. That kind of hurt. But um, they feel as though somebody won't do that to them. Oh, I put it over the wrong one. Okay. Yeah, they feel like. Mm -mm. Yeah, they feel like somebody's not going to do this to them. They, I don't know why or where they got this sense of entitlement from or something like this, but. Something is rooted in false information or something is rooted in false truth or false belief or something like this. I feel like they have nothing to offer. If anything, they're about to use somebody to get something to get them out of debt. Like they owe people money or like they owe some type of energetic something. Um, I feel like they're just trying to use somebody for what they can create or what they can generate. It's like a deal or something like this, but it can only be completed if they successfully get to your energy or get to use your energy or something like this. I feel like this is the type of person to talk a lot about something, but they don't ever like put any type of action into bringing something into real life or like they just daydream about it. They just talk about it a lot. They have all these dreams and goals and ambitions, but that's all it is. It's just the words coming out their mouth. This is like, I don't know, the way something happens is like payback or karma or something like this. Like, something happened and they betrayed somebody and then they made them out to be the bad guy or like, through all this something, yeah, that's exactly what they did <laughs> while they were talking shit and doing all this in the third. Um, and being able to call somebody out for what they truly did or something like this or the true energy that they actually display or I don't know it's like it's a joy but it's it's um if it, it feels good for somebody is what I'm getting in the collective like it feels good to be able to expose somebody because they asked for it not because you're being petty not because you're just outing them but because they asked for it because the audacity they have to do this okay <laughs> Yeah, I feel like somebody will gladly put somebody in their place or bring things into balance or let something be known. And it's like, you don't have to, you never had to, but why are they doing all this? Right, the audacity, sit down. Oh, I see it. The fact that somebody is so tapped in and tuned in and in alignment with themselves and with their guides and just doing them like somebody's really. Yeah, somebody's really doing the thing, OK? Um. Okay, what was I going to say? I feel like because somebody chose to put the work in and focus on themselves. It's like they know exactly what they want. 
and they can feel it like not only can somebody not only did somebody train themselves to like spot the bullshit or like see the bullshit and have the the confidence or courage to walk away from it or call it out when necessary or something like this is it just upsets somebody because it ruins their whole plan that somebody knows and can tell and can see and can feel exactly what they want and when it's not a match or when it doesn't align like they're quick to cut it off or push it away because they already know like they already know and if something feels like it comes from the past or something resembles the past it's like an immediate ending to something i don't know that just upsets them because they can't get away with what they're trying to do obviously because energetically they don't have anything to offer all right that's what i'm getting for you guys i hope y'all have a good night